With two wins and two clean sheets, Nagoya couldn't have asked for a better start to life in Group G. Rajaburi, on the other hand, desperately need a result today if they want to get their first points on the board and stand any chance of progressing to the next stage of the competition. Into the action we go. Nagoya really controlling things in the opening 20, 25 minutes. A couple of half chances here or there. Their best up until this point coming from Naoki Maeda. But Patom Akakun with a good save at his near post. They wouldn't have to wait much longer for their opening goal, though. The side from Japan can thank their number nine, Ryogo Yamasaki, a powerful header. And they won nothing a lead. One then became two. It was that man, Ryogo Yamasaki again. This time Yutaka Yoshida with a wonderful in-swinger. And Pato Makakun coming off his line but could do nothing about it. Nagoya, two to the good and in complete control. 42nd minute, Junior Mapuku with the only real chance for the Thai side. Well wide, slight deflection, good defending. But Rajapuri really clutching at straws as Nagoya would continue to power forward and continue to score goals. Same can be said for Ryogo Yamasaki, a first half hat trick for the big number nine. And the Japanese side in complete control, dominating proceedings here in Bangkok at half a time. Into the second, and Nagoya picking up where they left off. Chance after chance, really should have had his fourth there, Yamasaki. Straight down the middle and into the midsection of Patom Akakun. 68th minute now, 69th to be more precise, and Nagoya have a fourth. They really have been an absolute powerhouse here in Group G. And the rain coming down in Bangkok, when it rains it pours, it's certainly been pouring goals. And Nagoya could have easily had a fifth, they could have had more than five on the day. Chances kept on coming off the crossbar there. With 20 minutes is still to go, Rachapuri really just holding on here. 75th minute, another chance for both Kakitani and Saito behind him. Saito scoring Nagoya's fourth on the day. But it wasn't meant to be. It is a, another three big points, another clean sheet as Nagoya comfortably sits top of Garuchi.